The most important trade for the upcoming 2025 season is going to come soon. The question is, who will make it? It's not often that a trade can truly change the hands of the NBA championship. However, right now, we have three situations where if the right team makes the right move, it can push them over the top for the upcoming 2025 NBA championship next June. So what's up, Mike here, and right away, Zach Levine in Chicago is the biggest wildcard situation we have headed into the 2025 season. As right now, Zach Levine's stock is at an all-time low. However, we need to remember it was not long ago at all that Zach was seen as one of the best shooting guards in the game, as in 2021, Zach put up 27.4 points, 5 rebounds, and 4.9 assists per game and was named an all-star while he also finished 5th in the most improved award race. At this point in time, Zach was just 25 years old and the future was blinding. There were many who is better, Devin Booker, Zach Levine debates right around this period Period. But then came a story we know all too well, and that is Zach Levine got injured, which meant last season, starting the year at 28 years old, Zach played in just 25 games as he underwent foot surgery, a huge red flag for teams, and in the games Zach did play, he averaged just 19.5 points per game on 45.2% shooting, a clear and noticeable drop off. So you can see why teams are now hesitant to trade for him and why the market is out right now. But I have good news for us. There is a lot of reason to still be hopeful in Zach Levine. Getting injured at this age in the NBA used to be a death sentence, but now we've already seen someone like Kevin Durant. You can recover and you can regain your all-star level of play. And if we want to throw last season out of the window, we find that in the five seasons from 2019 to 2023, Zach averaged 25.1 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 4.5 assists per game on almost 48% shooting and 39% shooting from deep which is why I believe in a Zach Levine comeback tour this season. Zach has already shown us that he is that type of person that is going to put in the work to recover from this injury. The Bulls want to tank for Cooper Flag. They want to trade Zach, and Zach wants to prove himself, so headed out of the gate in this 2025 season, we know teams will suddenly not mind Zach's three-year, $138 million contract as much because prime Zach Levine as a third or maybe second offensive option could be a true ceiling raise on a contender. The question is, who might be interested in Zach and who can even pull off that kind of deal? Zach is going to be mentioned in the final section of this video on just the Golden State Warriors in general. But for now, the teams that have popped up the most include the Toronto Raptors, San Antonio Spurs, Miami Heat, and Los Angeles Lakers. For Toronto, the departure of Gary Trent Jr. does leave a hole at the shooting guard position that could be filled by Zach, giving the Raptors an interesting core of Scotty Barnes, RJ Barrett, and and Zach Levine that I agree would feel like an incomplete core, but would also be a team that would be competing for a playoff spot. As for the Spurs here, the recent acquisitions of Chris Paul and Harrison Barnes point to one thing for San Antonio. They do want to win more now, and taking on Zach Levine's contract might actually make perfect sense for the Spurs specifically, as Zach's contract does expire after the 2027 season, which is exactly when Wemby should be making a leap from young star to just star, and it would give San Antonio what they want. More wins with a more competitive roster. But guys, before we continue, I'm very excited to say that DraftKings is sponsoring today's video. And whether you love cheering on your alma mater or just love the thrill of college football, you are going to want to listen right now because I have partnered with DraftKings and they have a deal that is perfect for game day. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will instantly get $250 in bonus bets. That's something we can all celebrate. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use my promo code Corzemba. Bet just $5 and you will instantly instantly get $250 in bonus bets. Stay in on the action and use your $250 to bet on any time touchdowns. DraftKings is the place to bet on touchdowns and if sports betting is still not available in your state, you can still join in on all the fun on DraftKings Daily Fantasy where you have a shot to win cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, new customers. Use my promo code CORZEMBA. Bet $5 on any bet and get $250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code CORZEMBA only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back into that video.
The two potential championship needle moving trades though, come with the Los Angeles Lakers and the Miami Heat. For the Lakers, it is reported that D'Angelo Russell will be moved and it has also been reported that LeBron and AD are pressuring the front office to bring in another elite player. If LA can keep Austin Reeves while trading for Zach, at the very least, they are going to give themselves a real shot at the title this year, going to battle with Austin, Zach, Bron, AD, and Bronny. The Heat would say the same. If we get an all-star level Zach again, playing with Jimmy Butler, suddenly Jimmy and Bam would have a clear upgrade. This summer, Jimmy did say the Heat would beat the Celtics if he was healthy. He is someone who believes this roster is at a championship level. If Zach starts playing well, I would not be surprised at all if Pat Riley makes a big move and finally trades away Tyler Hero, who has been in trade rumors forever. Speaking of championship level, the Dallas Mavericks just lost in the NBA Finals, but were a clear tier below the Boston Celtics. Dallas, though, this offseason, as well as the last several offseasons, has continued to show that it is in win now mode with the addition of Clay Thompson. And as we watch Kyrie Irving and Clay only get older, it would make perfect sense for the Mavs to look to make a move to push them over the top in the crowded West before their talent gets too old. So, is it possible that the Dallas Mavericks are targeting Julius Randle? Bleacher Report believes that this trade is in play, with the Knicks getting back PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford among other pieces in return. The thought here is that the Knicks found their biggest success with a highly flexible defensive juggernaut in last year's playoffs, and they also relied heavily on Isaiah Hardenstein during their recent playoff run, but Hardenstein is now in Oklahoma City. So for New York, PJ Washington would add to their flexibility, Gafford would give them a backup center behind Mitchell Robinson, and for Dallas, Randall would be an interesting fit. Let's just be honest here, Julius Randall is a high usage player, which would mean that he would need to adjust a bit to playing alongside three scorers in Luka, Kyrie, and Clay. Randall has also had a questionable jump shot at times, but he is an all-star, he is a high-level scorer and playmaker, and so while the fit is not perfect, we also have to remember that all-star talents do not exactly grow on trees. At the very least, I could see Dallas moving Daniel Gafford at some point this season as Derek Lively continues to improve, because last year, Lively looked like one of the league's most promising rookies, and both both Lively and Gafford are true centers, which means the more minutes that Lively is playing, the more expandable that Gafford is becoming. It is likely that Dallas will wait until the trade deadline though for any big time move. It is also possible that the trade deadline gives us the most important trade of the 2025 season. As to finish off this video, will the Golden State Warriors look to bring in Brandon Ingram? It has been reported that the Pelicans do not want to pay Brandon Ingram max money going forward and would wouldn't you know it? Ingram's contract expires this season, which means New Orleans needs to make a decision quickly. They either need to trade Brandon Ingram during this season, when they can still get some value for him, or unless they change their minds on re-signing him, they would just let him walk in the offseason for nothing. Remember, Golden State was very interested this summer in Paul George, another wing, before Paul George, of course, ended up in Philadelphia, and the Warriors do have the trade assets to make something happen. Jonathan Kaminga just averaged over 16 points per game last season. He looks like a very promising young player. And Brandon Pojemski was just a part of Team USA's select team. He had a great rookie season. It has been reported, though, that Pojemski was told by the front office that he is not going to be moved, which means Kaminga is the more likely trade piece. The Golden State Warriors have been arguably the NBA's biggest offseason losers so far. They lost Klay Thompson for nothing. They were not able to get Paul George. They were not able to get Lowry in, they were not able to do really anything. What is very notable though, is how active they have been in trying to do something. I do not believe Golden State is going to let Steph Curry just go out on losing rosters. Golden State has recently been linked to both Clint Capella and Nikola Vucevic. If they're able to grab either of those centers for a cheap price and still pull in an all-star talent like Brandon Ingram, we at the very least would have a roster that would have a much better chance at taking down the Western Conference. As for Ingram, he has been linked to multiple other teams such as the Utah Jazz and Sacramento Kings who could be looking to take the next step up in playoff contention. But personally, I say look out for the Houston Rockets as an interesting sleeper destination for Ingram. If Jalen Green continues to play like he did in the second half of last season and Alfred Singoon continues to look like a young all-star, well then Houston is a team that could use some talent on the wing. They have plenty of young assets in play to make a deal happen. Let me know what you think down below 
below. If you're still here, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you do not miss another video like this. And also in the top left corner right now is a video I think you're really going to like on Zion Williamson. And in the top right corner is a video that YouTube has recommended specifically for you. Thank you for watching. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and peace.